right? Because I was an ex-drug dealer. And I understood that when I was selling pills and shit that was destroying people's lives. You know what I mean? When I finally comprehended it, I put it to a stop. You know what I mean? When I matured about it. But uh, stop blaming drug dealers for your child or your cousins or your brothers or whoever's in your family that's getting high. Or whoever in your family lost their life to drug overdoses and drug abuse or whatever. Stop blaming the drug dealer. Stop looking at the drug dealer. All crazy. That person has a conscious choice. That person is making a decision. Just like the person who drinks alcohol and dies from alcohol poisoning. Just like the person who smokes cigarettes and dies from lung cancer. They're making a fucking choice. How about you blame the parents and the support system to make this person feel so alone that they have to depend on drugs to drown their sorrows? Like, because I really, I really, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I did it. So I saw from both sides. I saw the niggas in the hood turn into fucking drug addicts and dope heads. I seen people from the suburbs turn into drug addict and dope head. The two things that they have in common that what I've experienced because I live through it. I'm not living vicariously. Okay? Because everybody can have an opinion living vicariously. But if you weren't involved in the lifestyle as a drug dealer or a drug addict, you don't you don't know. Alright? So what these individuals all have in common was the lack of support. No one can hear them. Parents not there. Family not there. Boyfriend, girlfriend not there. Friends not there. They felt alone. Miserable. Depressed. No one can hear them. Because the world spins and no one really cares. Because they're just so drowned out by the day-to-day shit that they got to deal with. Paying their bills. Worrying about their struggles. That you forget to check in on your child or your brother. Or to check in on a friend. And be like, hey, look, man, you know, you're going down the wrong path. But then that person goes down that wrong path and you want to point the finger to the bad guy. The drug is the drug dealer's fault. Oh, it's not the mom's fault, right? That didn't show her child any love. It's not daddy's fault who wasn't around, left and abandoned his kids or been working nonstop. Don't get it fucked up. I'm not condoning it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not condoning drug dealing, but how are you going to be mad at these individuals on taking a capitalist advantage, right? I don't see people standing outside of, of Big Tobacco. I don't see nobody going and pointing at the CEO with the suit and living a lavish lifestyle, killing people and causing trauma in other people's lives, okay? Because what? The person made a decision. Hey, you know it's bad, so if you consume this product, it's on you. Hey, if you do heroin and you consume this dangerous product that may be tainted 90% of the time, it's on you. They know what the fuck they're doing. This is my last take and I'll shut the fuck up after this, right? And I hope y'all who watch and watch all the way through and don't get mad. But here's my final take. Notice that whenever a drug addict try to get their life together and come back for that support system. Right, watch intervention. It's fucking when I watch intervention, I'm like, these families are cold hearted, cold blooded. Okay, your child or whoever is in your family is it has a disease, and every day they wake up not wanting this disease to be a part of their lives. Genuinely, most of these drug addicts feel like this, they don't want to do it no more. But then their support system, they come back home, please, I want to do it this time, but they're getting ridiculed, shamed. Mother or father being like, ah, you said that last time. Oh, oh, you're clean again? Let's see how long that lasts. And, you know, like little shit like that. You're discouraging the motherfucker. You want to blame the drug dealer? You should show them love. If you are unfortunate enough to have a drug addict part of your family and they try to give it a valiant effort to get off that drug because it's not easy. You guys think it easy because you're you're living vicariously through the drug addict. You've never been a drug addict, so you don't know, okay? So it's easy to point a finger. It's easy to say mean things to them. It's easy to, 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 to be upset at them. You don't understand it. You think it's easy. You think it's a switch of a button. Won't you just stop? It's not that easy. Stop. 
Won't you just show them love when they come around? Won't you just treat them like the kid they were before the disease or the addiction? Won't you put your personal bias to the side and make sure that you grab this gentle soul, this sensitive soul, and you treat it with love and care because you understand that it's sensitive and it is tender right now, and they don't want to hear the bullshit. They're fighting something greater than your opinion or your or your whatever.